Hello all. So on a lightly drizzly day, we're out in Studio 7 enjoying a sort of warmish last little spritz of spring showers here in California. So let's do an environmental update. There's been another study that shows that methane is going to be a time bomb worth dealing with right now. Not waiting, but dealing with it right now. And this is what's been happening. So these scientists are comparing CO2 to a catastrophe, but they're comparing the new methane threat as an apocalyptic episode waiting to happen. They say that it looks like it's going to happen, it's just a matter of time. What am I talking about? So, these scientists discovered that there were 7,000 bubbles in the Earth's crust full of methane in the Siberian trap. 7,000. How big are these mountainous bubbles? That's right, the size of a mountain. This is not a new discovery. These mountains of gas have been known about for about 10 years now, but there are far more of them appearing. Apparently, during the winter, there was a tremendous heat wave up in the Siberian traps, which then caused all the permafrost in that area to thaw out, which then released all this tremendous amount of methane. At this time, the air is not oversaturated with methane up there, but there are continuously taking more and more uh, measurements trying to find out whether or not these things are going to pop and explode. It's a huge amount of methane. These scientists say that they're... The scientists are saying that there are many, many problems coming if we don't deal with climate change right now. Now, what to do about these methane bombs, as they're being called, nobody really knows. What can you do with a methane ball the size of a mountain, which is like the size of a city, a Bay Area? That's how big these are. The uh, scientists that, that did the study are comparing it to 250 million years ago during that apocalyptic event, which they think was the releasing of a huge methane explosion, which wiped out 90% of all life. It nearly wiped out all trees, about 75% of all large mammals, and about 85% of all sea creatures were all decimated. They're saying it looks like this may happen again. The uh, part of their study was up in the Siberian trap in some of the bubbles that have already exploded, the smaller ones. And they say there are millions and mi millions of years of climate change layers in the sediment there. They now can look at and study. And they found that this does happen every now and then. Not too often, but every now and then there's a large release of methane which then causes an extinction on the planet Earth. And we're right on the threshold it looks like. And let's not forget that methane has 85% more greenhouse gas effects than CO2. It's just shorter lived. But in the time scales we're talking now, you might as well just have it live as long as CO2. So this science study also talked about how methane probably going to be released in huge quantities in the uh, in the shallow seas of uh, Antarctica, and that this is another catastrophe waiting to happen. And that is why they're saying we have a catastrophe coming on the uh, apocalyptic scale. But. There is some good news in all this bad news, and that is, you, you have to take good news whenever it comes, right? So, the good news is, the state of California here in the U.S. has put in regulations that will decrease methane leaks over nine-year period and will take down methane releases to our atmosphere by 47% in nine years. That, so that sounds a little too little too late, doesn't it? Well, we're the only ones watching out for methane leaks, though the methane leaks that are happening in the Arctic, in the Antarctic, the permafrost, and from cows, and from farming, is so high compared to anything else where methane leaks happen. They're just tiny in comparison to those. There's not much we can do with that, is there? Well, let's go over and look at CO2 real quickly and see what that is up to right now. And let's not forget that we have the Donald Trump swamp getting ever bigger and stinkier and deeper. And the methane 
pouring out of that thing. But I certainly do appreciate all the comments on the last videos and the last video. And I appreciate all the thumbs up and the thumbs down and anything else you want to do to participate in the channel. And until next time.